Good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Flow Church with Bishop Dag here at Mills. What a blessing, what a blessing it is to be back again. Make sure as you're with us, as you're joining, of course, that you're liking, and we want to see you now in the comments section to show that you're with us, all right, on Facebook, on YouTube, wherever you're tuning in from, let us know. We want to see, you can see the, the comment section in the studio, but no one's commenting, so let us see you all now as we've started let us see that you're a part of today's Flow Church and are excited for what is to come. And of course, share that link. Get that link out now to as many people as you can. You can share on WhatsApp, you can share on Facebook, Instagram, X, whatever platform you use. Maybe you don't normally use certain platforms, but you have an account or you have a profile there. Just hop on in these few minutes and share the link on those profiles as well and believe that you'll reach someone new someone that's never been here before and you know that they'll be truly truly blessed i see mercy flow, flowing from leeds barbara from the uk as well great great to see you on great to see you and let us know what nation you're tuning in from but of course have you shared the link mercy have you shared the link make sure you share the link to at least 10 people okay to 10 different people so at least some of them will join as many as you can think of so they'll be truly, truly blessed by today. And we've had a wonderful week of Flow Church Life. We were, I don't know if you are aware, but we had wonderful crusades in Angola. And we were truly, truly blessed. Maybe you missed out. That's why you should be subscribed. Make sure to subscribe and be a part of the Flow family. And of course, click the notifications as well to be part while you're here. So I want you to prepare yourself right now. I hope you've liked. I hope you've commented. And I hope you've shared that link. But now prepare yourself experience the presence maybe you've had a difficult week maybe you've had a lot of a lot of tough decisions to make or many things came on top of you all at once but now is a moment to let go forget about all those things and put this time towards god okay so let's prepare ourselves now as we go into our time of prayer wow keep sharing the link Keep sharing the link. Keep sharing the link. Hallelujah. Keep sharing the link. Maximum sharing. Maximum sharing. Hallelujah. Keep sharing the link to many people, with many people as possible. And the Lord bless you as you share the link with many people. Hallelujah. Keep on sharing the link. This is our way of also evangelizing. This is our way of doing an akazu. This is our way of letting everybody, everybody know that we are alive. It's a way of inviting somebody to church online. So keep sharing the link with many people as possible. The Lord bless you for doing so. Hallelujah. Are you sharing the link? I'm sharing the link here with many people. Sharing the link with my friends. Sharing the link with... So let's keep sharing sharing the link, share, 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 let it flow. It's very important that we get everybody along. Remember to share the link on your WhatsApp status as well. It's very important. So for two minutes, let's all share the link as we enjoy some spiritual music, spiritual songs in the background as we prepare our hearts this morning to receive from the Lord. Keep sharing, sharing, sharing. Keep sharing. It's a good thing to always share. It's a good thing to share. So please share. Share it with somebody you know. Share it with your friends. Share the link. Hallelujah. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Two more minutes. Keep sharing. And then we are also waiting for nice music. As we said, powerful music. You are playing a very nice music. Great is your mercy toward us. It, I think it's a powerful music. It's a good, great, wonderful music. Great is your mercy. God's mercy. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So please come on and let's share, share, share with many people. Many people. Ah, many people. Many people as possible. In, in the book, 120 Reasons. 120 Reasons. Um, 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 written by uh, our pastor Bishop Doug Heward Mills 120 reasons for 
soul winning. 120 reasons why you must be a soul winner. One of the points is that the good news is only good when it arrives on time. Yes. The good news of the gospel is good news. It's only good news when it arrives on time. So this morning, it is only good and right that you share the link now because somebody needs to hear the word of the Lord this morning. And it is only good news if it arrives on time. So let's share the link. It's very important. And it's, if possible, even call someone. Okay, call someone. Hello, I'm just calling you to let you know that um, Flow Church is um, live and I just wanted you to know that we are, we are live. I wanted to let you know about it. Hallelujah. Yeah, so let's all share powerfully. Hallelujah. God bless you. We have one more minute. One more minute to share. So keep sharing. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. One more minute to share. Amen. One more minute. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter one, verse three. Second Corinthians chapter one, verse three. The Bible says in second Corinthians chapter one, verse three, it says, Blessed be God. Blessed be God. So here we are seeing that. Paul is blessing the Lord. He said, blessed be God, even the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, comma, the father of mercies and the God of all comfort. We want to pray this morning. I noticed that in this particular verse, Paul gives God a certain title. We know him as the father of life, the father of all flesh. But over here, we see God as the father of mercies. I don't know about you, but we are standing this morning. We are alive this morning. We woke up this morning by the mercies of God. The Bible says in Lamentations 3.22, it says that it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. And because of that, we want to pray this morning. And who are we thanking? We are thanking. It says it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. And then the next verse, verse 23 says, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So I'm just drawing your attention on the truth that all these mercies that we have been enjoying, the Bible says that the father of all these mercies is our God, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You want to raise up this morning, rise up on your feet this morning and let's give thanks to whom thanks is due to the Lord for his mercies. He is the father of mercies and because of his abundant mercies, we are still around this morning. Wherever you are, you want to rise to your feet. Let's begin to pray right now and say, Lord, thank you for your mercies, many mercies, several mercies. Many mercies have been have been poured upon oh, us. Jesus. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4, the Bible oh, says, Jesus. But God, who is rich in mercy, you want to pray this morning and say, Father, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. The mercy of God. The mercy of God. Oh, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. We Lord. don't deserve to be standing here this ah, morning. Lord, your word declares in some 
Psalm 8. He says, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Mm. The son of man that thou visitest. Gosh. We thank you this morning in the name you, of Lord. Jesus. Wherever you are, with thanksgiving in your heart, yes. let's pray and thank God for thank his you. mercy. Thank you for your mercy, thank Lord. God for his mercy. We thank you for your mercy, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the matchless name of we Jesus. We thank you for your mercy, ah, oh God. Thank you for your mercies, Lord. We thank you for your mercies. Your mercies, Lord. They are new every morning. Every morning, every morning, I thank you for your mercy, Lord. The Lord for His mercy. Oh, my local Pazi, the Lord for His mercy. Robo <laughs> Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, Father of mercy, Father of mercy, Father of in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have prayed, and everyone say Amen. Amen. This Sunday morning, we want to pray for the Holy Spirit. Right. Jesus taught us to pray specifically for the Holy Spirit. Mm. Now, in Luke chapter 24, verse 49, the Bible says, this is Jesus speaking. He says, and behold, I send the promise of the Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem. Mm. 
until ye be endued yes. with power from on high. Until ye be endued. endued. Other translation says until you are enveloped. Enveloped. When you envelope something, you put the thing in an envelope and you seal it. What happens is that you don't see the thing again. What you see is the envelope. This morning, we want to pray that the Holy Spirit will envelope us. You need the Holy Spirit even as a church member. Yes, you are not preaching in church today, but you need the Holy Spirit yes. so that you can be able to understand the word of God. You are listening this morning. You are a pastor. You are going to church. You are a leader. You also need the Holy Spirit. We want to pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. Mm -hmm. And our prayer is that Holy Spirit this morning and you envelope, envelope, yes. envelope in the name of Jesus. Yes. Envelope, the N-A-S-B. I think the N-A-S-B, the New American Standard, uses the word envelope, if I'm not wrong. Envelope. Until you are enveloped. I hope so. Mm, okay, yes. So it uses the NASB use until you are clothed. Look at me. You can see me. You can see the color of my head because my head is not clothed. Okay. But you can't see my shoulder. You can't see my chest. You can't see my arm because my arm is clothed. We want to pray this morning that we will be clothed all yes. upon us. Yes. And behold, I am sending forth the promise of my father upon you. Yes, yes. But you are to stay in the city until you are clothed mm. with power from on high. Begin to pray right now for the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning yes, yes, in yes, the yes, name yes, of yes. Jesus. Yes. Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. The Holy Spirit this morning. Until you are clothed, come on, you are clothed, come on, Rati Fele Coparasia Dabada, Long Zebre Cuvada, I have lived as a powerless Christian for a time. I have lived as a powerless Christian for a time, anointing free Christian for a time, a Christian without the Holy Spirit for a time. But Lord, this morning I pray that I I will be clothed. Come on. I will be clothed Come on. in the name of Jesus. In the name of that Jesus. my flesh will no longer be seen. But the clothing of the Spirit. The clothing of the Spirit. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Pray in tongues. Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. Pray for the Holy Spirit. He is the one we need. Yes, Lord. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Holy Spirit of God, without Pray for the Holy Spirit. Until, 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 
Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. The Holy Spirit. 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 Pray for the Holy Spirit. For the Holy The Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We want to pray this morning. We are praying for the Holy Spirit. Come on now. And I want to lead us to directly pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit. The fire of the Holy Spirit. In, in Luke chapter 3, verse 16, John the Baptist was announcing Jesus. He said, John answered saying unto them, As for me, I indeed baptize you with water. 
But one mightier than I cometh, the legend of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. We want to pray this morning for the fire of the Holy Spirit so that we will be on fire for the Lord. And what happened in Acts chapter 2, verse 1, on the day of Pentecost? Look at what happened. On the day of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2, verse 1, the Bible says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they, they were all with one accord in one place. Uh, verse 2. And suddenly, there came a sound from heaven mm. as of a rushing mighty wind. Mm. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Verse 3. The Bible says, and there, there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And I love the last verse, the last sentence. And it sat upon each of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a personal thing. It on everyone. You want to pray this morning for your personal fire. La, so, the, so, so fire the, the, the fire of the Holy I'm Spirit. I'm sure somebody's watching right now. Yes, you have been going to church. Yes, you have been praying. But there's a certain fire that we need. That zeal, that fire. The love, your love must be fresh with fire. This one we are praying for the fire. The fire of the Holy Spirit. To kindle up, to freshen up a certain fire in our heart. A certain fire that burns in our heart for God. A certain fire that burns in our heart for the things of God. You want to pray right now for the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray for the fire. The fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, there is someone watching this morning. You want to pray the Lord set me on fire again. My fire is dying. My fire Fire is no longer as it used to be. Holy Spirit, I pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Spirit, the fire of the Holy Spirit, the fire of the Holy Spirit, pray for the fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. He will baptize us in the Holy Ghost and with fire. Pray for the fire, Lord, our fire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, let the fire burn in our hearts. 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 Fire, 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 fire,
Faya mano, faya mano, faniya mano, faniya mano la, apariya baso pa, e pere pere baso penele, ato koche pere baso ke pere 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 baso na, ato panwaniya, apo twamaniya, faya, faya, panama, ato maliya mama 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 mama, apo na, eh, ato paniya ba, Lord we pray. We pray. That there will be fire. 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 Let me carry fire. Come on, mama, mama, mama. Fire. 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 Apona. 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 Fire, 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 Sapona, Panama, Sapo, Sapona, oh God, the fire of the Holy Spirit, oh Badi Bada Baba, a pedeve soda, a 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 soda, Hallelujah. Now look at Galatians chapter 4, verse 18. Galatians chapter 4, verse 18. Galatians chapter 4, verse 18. Come on. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 4, verse 18. It says, But it is good to be zealously affected. You see, the Bible could have just written, it is good, it is good to, to it is it is good to do good mm. or to, to be happy or to good things. Yes. But the Bible used something to qualify the good thing. Come Look on. at it again. It says it is it it, it is good to be zealously affected always in a good thing. So you notice that God desire, God's desire for us is not just to be doing good things, but to be zealously. There must be some fire in us. There must be some fire in us. There is a difference between food and hot food. And therefore, Jesus told the church in Laodicea that I wish that you were either of them because look warm. You, see, you are a Christian. Yes, you, f- you are on flow every Sunday morning, but there is something that lacks. The food is there, but there is no fire. The food is there, but there is no fire. And I, I love this. Look at Romans 12, 11. Romans 12, 11, and we are praying. Romans 12, 11. In Romans 12, 11, now Paul says this to the Roman church. Romans 12, 11. He says, not slothful in business. Don't be lazy, but fervent in spirit. Fervent in spirit. What? Serving the Lord. It not just about serving the Lord, but spiritually, the word heaven there is boiling. There must be fire. You want to pray this morning, oh God, for the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and let's pray. I want to be fervent. I want to be zealous. The fire must be burning. Fire. Aliposai. Apore mesepe. Wege de ge de ge de gozoma. Raga da ga da gutu gobege. Raga da ga ba da ga da gutu gebe. Apo da la ba 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 ba. Apo baria. Apo rama ma ma ma. Apo seferi aba. Apo rama sapa. Yesi apa. You've been preaching every Sunday, but you know that you are not fervent. Yapa manola. Yapa baria. Yapa baria mandoro mo. Papa Pariama, a periaso, 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 a
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we have prayed and everyone said amen amen hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah amen amen, amen. oh thank you Jesus thank you Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. that this morning the, the Holy Spirit as we have been praying in the spirit and in tongues the Holy Spirit has baptized us this morning with his fire from this morning you will not serve God without fire in the name of Jesus you will not some of us it's like he's ready to even spit us out already because there's no fire, but this morning a new fire has come into your heart. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, Amen. Oh, I can't hear the Amen from from your house. I can't hear your Amen from home. So type Amen, Hallelujah. Amen. Type Amen, Ernest Salifu Emmanuel Ezu. I see all of you. So type Amen, Hallelujah, Amen, Hallelujah, Amen. Malachi chapter three verse 8 Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 the Bible says will a man rob God yet you have robbed me but ye say how have we robbed you in what have we robbed you and then God responds so in verse 8 that we are seeing there is a dialogue God is speaking the people are responding God asks the question, will a man rob God? And the people, and then God continues, yet you have robbed me. Then the people said, we, how have we robbed you? And then God responds and says, in tithe and offerings. I know that we quote this scripture purposely for tithe, but I just want to draw your attention on the fact that we don't only rob God in tithe, but also in offerings. In offerings. Hallelujah. In offerings. Now, I want us to prepare our heart to give an offering to the Lord. Why did I quote this scripture? Because Malachi is the last book of the Bible, um, of the Old Testament. Now, in Malachi, there was something that was happening. What was happening was that the people were saying that it was vain to serve God. Because they said that since they came out of exile, as prophesied by Jeremiah, they have not really seen anything that God is doing in their lives. There are many people watching this morning. If truth be told, our thoughts are just like the speakings of the people in the days of Malachi. They used to say, what is the use of serving God? When you read chapter 1, what is the use of serving God? Because we, we, we go to church, we pray, we give offerings, but we don't see anything. What the Lord has said in his word, give and it shall be given to you good measure. We give, we don't see. So they were complaining. Then God sent Malachi to tell them that the reason why you don't see my hand in your life is because yes, you give, but you don't give the way I want you to give. Now, when you continue in chapter 3, look at what God says to the people. He told them that when they come to his house, the offering that they bring to him, even, even, even their governor will not collect it, will not take it. <laughs> I'm preparing your heart to give a befitting offering to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Now, I'm looking for the scripture. Uh, yes. 
Now, look at verse 1. Chapter, chapter 1, verse 6. God is speaking to them. I'm giving you a background. The, if you want to, if, if there are some things happening in your life, and then you complain that God, I do what you say we should do, but I don't see anything. I, I urge you to study the whole book of Malachi. Because the book of Malachi is an answer to a Christian who says, I don't see the hand of God in my life the way the Bible says. And God came to tell them that there are so many things you say you do, but you do them wrongly. Chapter 1 verse 6. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name. And you say, how have we despised your name? Now God is coming to explain what it means to despise his name. Look at the next verse, verse 7. Now God says that you despise my name. Why? Verse 7. Because you offer what? Polluted bread upon my altar. And you say, wherein have we polluted thee? And then he says, in that you say, the table of the Lord is what? Contemptible. Verse 8. Look at verse 8. And if you offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if you offer the lame and the sick, is it not evil? Offer now, offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee? Or accept thy person? Said the Lord of hosts. So that is God's response to them. As they were saying that we have been giving, but we don't see anything. God was telling them that yes you give, but you don't give to honor me. Most of us this morning, we are about to give an offering. The offering we are going to give is an afterthought. You check, what can I give? Then always, always, we always give God the less. Something that is small. If you are going to give in church physically with your hand, with your offering, you always give God the change. But this morning, I've spoken enough. I want you to open your heart and honor. The word is honor. Honor God with your offering this morning. Let's pray. Father, thank you this morning. We pray that let our offerings really show that you are our father and that we want to honor you, honor you with our offering this morning. In Jesus' name we have prayed with thanksgiving and everyone said amen. Now there, there are some slides. We are starting with giving in Ghana. Everywhere you are in Ghana, even if you are outside Ghana, you are watching from any country from where you can send your offering through the mobile money like pay angel, like world uh, remit, send wave, tap tap send, all the different kinds of apps. You can also give through this number. Even though you are not in Ghana, you can still give through Ghana. So we are waiting for you. Give your offering. Give your offering. I am a pastor. I know. I, I know. I'm a pastor. I know. We always give God what is less. I, we, we, don't, we, we don't need a prophet to come and prophesy that I see you giving 10 cities to... But every... The average Christian always give what is less to God. Always. In, in, your, in your account, you see you have, let's say, 100 Ghana cities. God will always take the 5 cities or the 10 cities. Always. This is, that is the position where we put God. But I challenge somebody watching this morning. That give to honor God. Give to honor God. Give to honor God. Yes. Give to honor God. I am challenging somebody who just send the money. Let me just empty my account and then that is it. And I've given my all to the Lord this morning. I'm waiting for you this morning. Give powerfully. Give powerfully. There's a way to give internationally. If I have 50 Ghana cities, if I have 50 pounds sterling, why do you give God one, one pound? Or why, do you, why, 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 why would you want to give God two pounds? Why, why not even divide it into two and give him 25 so it's like, I have divided it. I've given him half. Always, God doesn't deserve our half. He deserves less than half of what we have. But this morning, something is changing about somebody watching in the name of Jesus. They were not seeing any change. We have been giving. We don't see anything. God says, oh yes. Because when you give, you don't give to honor me. What you are giving me, if you give to your governor, will he accept it? Will he accept it? Thank you, Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you thanks. Oh, yes. Keep on giving. Keep on giving. Keep on giving. Yes. You were dead in your sins and trespasses. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And you followed the prince of the power of the air. According 
Keep on giving. Keep on giving. Jesus Christ, we will fall away. Now run near by the blood of Christ. Keep on giving. Jesus Christ, we will fall away. Now run Keep on giving. By the blood of Christ. Everywhere. Christ, Everywhere. Gada bada bada balama. Every giving. Today we are taking our time to give the offerings. Yes. We are not in a hurry. Take your time and give. Some people say, Oh, I, I will wait when we are when we close and I'll give properly because I don't want to leave and then come back and then something is happening. Nothing is happening now. So you give your offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. On Facebook, on YouTube, give, give powerfully. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Keep on giving. Keep on giving. Yes. On Facebook, we see all your comments right here. Let's give our best. I'm giving my best. Are you giving your best to the Lord? Give your best to the Lord this morning. It's a Sunday morning. And we are giving him our best. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give him your best. Give him your best. Jesus Christ, we will fall away. Now run near by the blood of Christ. We will fall away. Give the Lord your best. Oh, Jesus Christ, we will fall away. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ, we will fall away. Now run near by the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Once again, I want to say God bless you. Now, we are about to listen to the word of God. But do you know what I want to tell you? I want us to share the link one more time. Because we have gotten to a very special moment. Now, I'm looking at my time here in Ghana. It is 751. I'm sure it is also 51 where you are. So I want us to use two minutes or three minutes so that by 55, we'll start listening to the word of God. I want us to share. Copy the link and share the link. Let's all share right now. Let's share. It's an exercise. It's an exercise. So let's do that quickly. Let's share. Let's share. Share the link. Let's all share the link. Share. Yes. Please help me to share. Everybody, we are about to listen to the word of God. We are about to listen to the word of God. And it will be only right for us to share. To share. So please help me to share. Help me to share. Let us all share. Yes. Let us all share the link. Please. Please help me to share. Share. Yes.
All right. All right. All right. All right. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Now, once again, I want to say God bless you for sharing. I'm doing my last sharing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. Now we are about to listen to the word of God. Now, I want to just say one prayer to the Lord. That Lord, let my ears be opened. Let my heart be opened. Pray that every stronghold, doubt, every kind of imaginations, that tries to lift itself above the preaching of the word will be brought down this morning so that the word of God will truly affect you and I in the name of Jesus we have prayed with thanksgiving and everyone said amen this morning I have the pleasure and the privilege to introduce to you our pastor the pastor of the flow church who has been blessing us this week all the way from Angola. Is that not so? This morning we are about to listen to the word of God. And guess what? The word of God that is coming to us, I believe, will be a mighty, mighty blessing. Just listen attentively. Make sure that you write your note, you open your Bible, everything that he says, let's do together. And I know that this morning we will be blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, God has anointed his servant for us. He has given him a word for us. I want you to rise to your feet in the house wherever you are and let's give honor to God's servant as we receive my pastor and your pastor. Our pastor, the pastor of the Flow Church, Bishop Doug Heward Mills. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we give you thanks for the opportunity that we have this afternoon. We are grateful. Guide us by your mighty power. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Now, today I want to begin to share with you about the anointing and the presence of God the anointing and the presence of God. And I believe that the presence of God is something you are going to desire Amen. more than anything else. Amen. 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 Now, the presence of God, number one, why do you need his presence? You need his presence to go with you because Moses needed the presence of God. In Exodus 33 and verse 14, he said, my presence shall go with thee. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. So Moses is the person who introduced the concept of the presence of God. And Moses said, I do not want to exist without your presence. Now, the presence of God, if you want to understand it, you best understand it by considering the presence of someone you know or someone important and you will understand the presence of God more. Or like it will quickly become real to you. You see. Because for me, um, long ago, I, I remember uh, one time my wife had uh, a, a baby and she was watching, um, at that time she began to watch these Christian channels. So well, she was at home a lot. So she was watching it. So it made me also see a lot of the things. And I noticed that some of the programs were not attractive. Now, I couldn't hear. It was like I was watching a soccer match So for some of them. Like maybe even a soccer match would be 
sometimes more interesting. And I found them, I couldn't get anything at all out of it. And I realized that there was something, the word was there. Scriptures were there. Powerful people were there. Congregations were there. But I couldn't feel something. Do you see? And that was one of the first times that I began to notice that there's a difference between someone who has the presence of God or God is present or God is not there. And you can have the presence of God and not have, you can have things happening, but there's no presence. And so Christians need to know that God needs to be with you in what you are doing. And Moses was the first person who said, yeah, I should go to where? To go and lead who? <laughs> Look at these people, how they are. I should go and try to lead people and do something when you are not with me. Yeah, I will not go. So let us learn the first lesson that Moses knew too well to want to do something when God was not going to be part of it. He was not going to be present. Number two, you need his presence. I'm in chapter one of the book to go with you because of your weaknesses your dishonor, and your corruption. All right? In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, he describes the dead. He said, so is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in glory. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. And it is raised a spiritual body. What, what is he describing? I'm going to read from the book. At your funeral, you will be put in the ground. The scripture teaches that your body will be sown in weakness, in dishonor, and in corruption. There is no human being who goes into the ground who doesn't go down with these three descriptions. In weakness, in dishonor, and in corruption. Including the goodest person. Do you see? Yeah. It's not I don't know how to speak English that I good goodest, good arrest. No. But I just want you to understand what I'm saying. Okay? The end of all men is the same. That is why we need Jesus Christ. We will go into the ground in weakness, in dishonor, and in corruption. How can someone who is weak, someone who is dishonorable, and someone who is corrupt be used by God? Moses was weak, Corrupt and dishonorable. He was wanted in Egypt for murder. He did not need anybody to tell him that he needed God's presence. He argued even with God. And he said, if your presence does not go with me, I'm not going anywhere. I can understand him. How many of you would like to go on a great mission without God? How many would like to go with God? All right? So beautiful. Now, the third reason why you and I need his presence, okay, is because you are nothing but grass. Okay? Grass. Isaiah 40 and verse 6. The voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass. And all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. Huh? Look, do you understand the scripture? All flesh, I am flesh, is grass. You are grass, I am grass. The goodliness of you, the good part of you, 
is a small part. The flower of the field is appearing for a short while and vanishing away. So the goodness, goodliness of everybody is short-lived. You don't have to be married for long before you see that the goodliness is small. People don't want to talk true, true things. You know, people want to give good impression, which is another of the evils, the hypocrisy and the pretense. It's plenty. Are you with me? Yeah. The acting is a lot. But if people are to be truthful about their lives, you'll find out that the goodliness, the goodliness of the goodest, unless, okay, 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 okay. I withdraw my statement. Isaiah is wrong. Isaiah is wrong. No, no, I've drawn everything. So Isaiah is wrong. It's okay. You, you, for you, Isaiah is wrong. Me, I, I, I'm going with Isaiah. You, Isaiah, and therefore, uh, surely by his stripes you are healed. It's also wrong. And uh, we have gone astray. He has sent a son. And to us a son is born and a child is given. All those are wrong, please. They are all wrong. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. It's, we've canceled all those verses this afternoon. Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is upon you. It is no more. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The, yeah, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. It's whatever. No, we've canceled all verses. Because there's a mistake here. Shall we keep this one too? The voice said, cry. What shall I cry? Cry that all flesh is grass. And the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. Turn to your neighbor in the house, even if it's your mother or your father, and say, stop acting. Stop acting. Now, the grass withereth. Huh? The grass what? Withereth. And the flower fadeth. Because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely, the people is grass. <laughs> you are grass. The grass withereth and the flower fadeth. But the word of our Lord stands forever. Amen. Amen. So brothers and sisters, you find out that uh, we, are, we are nothing. And apart from being nothing, we are fading. Hmm? Now let me read Leviticus 27 for you. All right? And um, Leviticus 27 verse 2 in the New Living Translation because that will be easier for you to understand. I don't have to explain a lot of things. All right? Now, give the following instructions, okay, to the children of Israel, all right? If anyone makes a special vow to dedicate someone to the Lord by paying the value of that person, the what? The value, and Isaiah has told us that all flesh is what? Grass. Now, listen, here is the scale of the values to be used. A man between the ages of 20 and 60 is valued at 50 shekels of silver. When you are between the ages of 20 and 60, you are valued at 50 shekels of silver as measured by the sanctuary silver. Okay? Then it goes on. A woman of that age... No, don't, don't be angry with me, please. I beg you. I beg you in the name of Jesus. I beg you in the name of Jesus, please. <laughs> don't be angry with me. All right? Yes. A woman of that age is valued at 30 shekels of silver. So the man's value is 50 shekels and the woman's value 30 shekels. Don't be angry 
with me, I beg you, discounted. Now, a boy between the ages of 5 and 20 is valued at 20 shekels of silver. So when you are not yet 20, you are just valued at 20 shekels of silver. All right? Now, a boy between one month and five years is valued at five shekels of silver. Okay? And a girl of that age is valued at three shekels of silver. Now, the difficult one is coming up here in verse 7. It says, a man older than 60. You see, between 20 and 60, your value was what? 50 shekels. Now, it says that a man older than 60 is valued at 15 shekels of silver. That his value has dropped from 50. If you can remember the verse before 20 to 60, he was worth 50 shekels. Now, after 60, his value has dropped to 15 shekels of silver. And the woman's value has also faded. And she's now valued at 10 shekels. And she used to be 30 shekels before she got to 60. You are fading. Is the fading happening or is it not happening? It's happening practically. I told you to have your quiet time in... Um, Levitical, but you didn't mind me, so I have to share with you. <laughs> yeah. You see, here again, you see the fading, you see the grass nature, and it's true. And that's why retirement is around 60. And that's why if there's something you have to do for the Lord between the ages of 20 and 60, do your best. If you are around after 60, it's extra time to show some value, some last many things you didn't do. Yes. And if you are between 20 and 50, 25 and 50, I mean, Charlie, this is it. This is it. And you see that even though you are present, your value is less. There are so many things you can loud noise. You see that by 8 o'clock you need to sleep. You see that you are woken up by 5 a.m. You are listening to the beds. If you don't pray, you are listening to radio. Yeah. It's different. So, those of us who've been toying, when God wants to use a young man, or God wants to use your child, God wants to, you, to use you, you see pastors in our church telling them that, you know, you have to be careful how many missionaries are successful. One, one pastor of a late pastor was telling, how many missionaries are successful? Why are these things you are doing? They are dangerous. Why don't you... Get a financial foundation before you do. Why are you doing all those things? You see, and 60 is coming. And those of us who have been serving God and trying to do the ministry, how has it destroyed our lives? And all the missionaries and the people that have gone, when you even ask them to leave, they'll they, they, they hate you so much for asking them to leave that place. It's amazing. But you see that people don't realize that, look, it's a short time. Our lives are really grass. And when the day comes and it's over, that's it. It's gone. So, brothers and sisters, um, because we are so nothing, if God was not with us, we would be very nothing at all. And that's why when you are preaching and God is not with you, it's nothing. When you are doing anything and God is not with you, you are grass which is trying to do something. You can't even be used to make a whip. You can only be used to make a grass hat or something. That's why we need the presence of the Lord. What can grass accomplish? What can withering grass accomplish? What can a fading flower? From 20 to 60, you were worth 50 shekels. That's why the bank wanted, wanted you to work for them. Because you were so valuable. But when your value went down, so now I'm a missionary for God. You know, when I first started sending missionaries, I didn't understand some of these things. I saw a brother who was much older, and I sent him on a mission field. Ha! <laughs> I was there one day, I got a letter. Those days, I think we didn't have WhatsApps and all this. I got a letter, several sheets. 
And the letter was written in capital letters. Yes. <laughs> and some sections were underlined. Some were in red. You know, I didn't even understand what he was saying. After some time, I said, you know, return. Because I learned that at a certain age, the abilities and the concerns of a person and the issues are different. You send a young person who is very flexible and capable of many things. Indeed, our value is very little. Yeah. And that is why we must do everything to have the presence of God with us. Amen. Amen. Number four. The reason why we need his presence is because you are a man of unclean lips. Amen. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 it says a man of unclean lips. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. No matter who dies or who lives, the work of God goes on. So even though King Uzziah had died, Isaiah was seeing the Lord. High and lifted up and his train filled the temple. And he saw seraphims. And one cried to another, Holy, holy, holy. Is there a song like that? Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. Rise to thee. Holy, holy, holy. Merciful and mighty. God in three persons. Blessed Trinity. Isaiah saw it and he said, Holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. In your house, wherever you are, holy, holy. And he had angels singing and speaking. And he realized that God was very great. And that he was nothing at all. And that anything about him was just grace. Then he also said, woe is me. Hey, I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. He, re he realized it. And honestly, if ever you ever encounter the presence of God, this is the way you will know that you have encountered the presence of God. And the reason I know this is because I experienced this myself many years ago. When I was in secondary school, and I went to a meeting and at this meeting we were fasting for seven days I'd never fasted before my whole life, that was the first time and on the last day I was the last person in the hall at the far right corner and as we were in prayer suddenly a figure appeared on my side in white and the word that I can use is glistening. Glistening. And immediately, I felt, I've never had an experience like that before, again, dirty. And I felt like feces. Yeah, it was the presence of God. That's when God came to be with me in a certain way. And he came to be by my side. And his presence has been with me. Because a man 
of sin, of uncleanness, in the midst of equally unclean people, only by the presence of God can you be anything or do anything. Truly. There is nobody who amounted to anything in the Bible who does not have a certain interaction with God and a certain presence of God following him. I am a man of unclean lips. So brothers and sisters, that presence going with you is what becomes the supernatural element around someone who is corrupt, who is genuinely, not, not that it's not a saying, it's not just a nice, a cliche, or some words. So we are all sinners. We are all sinners. God have mercy on us. God, have, God should forgive all of us. God have mercy. It's not just, they are not just, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. We are lacking. Yeah, we are lacking. Sometimes it takes a certain experiences for it to be revealed to you that you are lacking. One day I saw a certain sister who was like, by the standards that we have, do you see, everything good. Everything about her was good. Like by this time. You just think, I don't want to give the example because I don't want you to be disturbed. But just good. Good of everything. Like good, tick, 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 tick. Till her husband left her. And said, I would not like to be with somebody like this. See, then came perhaps, perhaps that's the grace of God. That a revelation that even though everything about you looks good, there is somebody even on earth who doesn't want to be with you. Yes. He said, I would rather die, I would rather, I would rather be whatever than to stay with this person. Oh, yes. Sometimes it takes a certain experience for yourself to be revealed to you. That you are not as good as you think you are. And this is what happened to Isaiah in the form of a vision. When he saw, holy, 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 how great God was. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Without him, you can do nothing. Jesus said in John 15 and verse 5, I am the vine. You are just branches. You are just what? Branches. You are just what? Branches. branches. You are just branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. In other words, he who stays close to me, Abide in you, abide in me. It means you are living in each other. It means you are close. So he who stays close to me brings forth much fruit. Your closeness to God is the basis of the fruits you bear. 
Yes. Your closeness to God is the basis of the fruits you can bear. Unless you are close to God, you cannot bear fruits for God. You are, you are corrupt. I, I, you need more scripture to show you that you are grass, your flower is this, your goodliness is small. I mean, I, you have enough scriptures. Then he says, for without me, without me, you can do nothing. What can grass do? What can unclean lips do? Nothing. Nothing. So, nothing means zero. Amen. And you need him to be endued with power. Amen. Amen. So, God, Jesus said, I will send the promise of my father to be with you. And were I not bonky, you know, when he grew up, his father was a pastor. And it was an unusual connection for his father to be a pastor because they were not Christians. But his father met a man in the field one day and he was sick and the man prayed for him and he got healed. So that his father became a pastor. And as his father was growing up, he had different children. And when Bonky got saved also, he told his father, I'm going to preach in Africa one day. And his father told him, no, not you. My older son is going to be a preacher, not you. You are not, you are, you are not, you are not good. And he said he was not good in school. I think in maths or in something. So he said that in their school or in their wherever they were, when you are not good, they call you a zero. So he was called a zero. That was another name that he was given, zero. You see. So he, he said that, yes, I'm a zero. But when Jesus stands by me like this, the zero becomes 10 straight away. And even there may be more zero, 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 zero. When Jesus stands by him like this, it becomes 100,000 million, 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 million. Hallelujah. And that is how it is in our useless life. Jesus standing by you and with you transforms your zeroness into something wonderful. Yes. You know, I'll tell you the truth. I go all over the world sometimes. I'm, sometimes I'm met at airports. I remember one time I went to Trinidad. There was a large crowd of people clapping and welcoming me in Trinidad. And I was thinking to myself, wow, what are these people? But none of them are welcoming me because of, I'm a doctor. It even sounds funny. I was in Mozambique. A large crowd of people were there. They were not welcoming me. They were singing. They were even singing at the airport. Can you imagine people singing at an airport as you come? Crowds of people. Many airports. I was in Cape Town. I had the same experience because of my Heward Mills family. It cannot be possible. No, it's because of Jesus. You see, when Jesus stands by you, eh, your zero becomes something else. So I found out that Jesus is the most important factor in my life. Yes, his presence with me is the most important thing about me. Oh, yeah, that's true. People, really, or people who even receive me and accept me, normally a half caste, that's my color in Ghana, we are rejected. So don't mind me, red. You have so many names for us. Red. Obroni Pete, disappointed European, uh, go to your country, Lebanese man, this. We have so many things that are said to us. But many people also listen to me in spite of that because Jesus standing by the Obroni Pete. Even I was preaching one day when an interpreter made a mistake. He was not, I did not use the word that, but he used that word because it was, it was what was in his head. It's what he normally says. Yes, about people like me. So he blurted it out. And it was very odd on the stage. Everybody was taken aback. Yeah. Obrodi Peta is what? A, a, a wild vulture. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the vulture with Jesus standing by your side. You get it? It becomes something great. So I don't know what name they call you. You get it? I don't know what, who wants to zero fire you, eh? When Jesus stands by your side. I say, when Jesus stands by your side, you see 
the, how great your, look, the Bible says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ is the hope of your niceness in this life. I'm telling you. Put Jesus aside, you become less than zero. Put Jesus aside, and you become less than zero. Amen. Amen. Are you there? Or you are leaving? Amen. Amen. Now, the presence of God, number six, will go with you and transform your destiny. I read this during the offering time. He said in Genesis 28, he said, and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth and shall spread abroad to the east and to the west. In Genesis 28, verse 12, and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee. Amen. Are you there? Behold what? I am where? I am where? With thee. I am with thee. I am with thee. I am with thee. And when God is with thee, he will keep thee in all thy ways. That's why Moses said, the, when you are blessing the children, bless them. The Lord lift up his counsel and the Lord keep thee. The Lord keep thee. The Lord keep you. Hallelujah. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. Amen. Be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. On this wise you shall bless the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Are you excited about this presence? Yeah. And behold I am with thee and I will keep thee in all places whither thou goest. Amen. And the last reason for this morning is in Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 17. It's a favorite verse of mine. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. In fact, this, when I was writing this book, I wanted to call the book after this verse. Wow. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. You know, when God is in your midst, that is, he's around. Do you get it? When God is around, it's different. Yes. When he's around, it's different. You, you, you know the effect. You know, sometimes you just, sometimes you see there's a party or there's an important event, then there's an important person there. All right? Even though they are not mentioning his name, the person's presence is important. And when the person gets up and leaves, it spoils the party or it ends the party. So many times when I'm, when I'm at places, I'm very conscious of that, that. Don't leave, when you leave in a way or at the wrong time, it's like you have ended the party or you've made like the spirit of the party has gone. <laughs> Is it not true? Yes, yeah. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. What will he do when he's there? He, he will save. Amen. He will save. Amen. Yes. He will save. He will save. In your midst. So he, he's a savior. And then he says, he will rejoice over thee with joy. That's what you call a doting father who is kissing his children and very happy with his children. He will rejoice over thee with joy. God will rejoice over you with joy as he, as he walks with you. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. You, know, you don't know any verse in Zephaniah, but today you know one verse in Zephaniah. Yes. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. And he will rest in his love. And then he will joy over thee with singing. Wow. Can you imagine God singing about you? Eh? Singing about you. My wife always told me the story of a a girl in the school when she was going for her her prize. And her mother would just come and dance over her and be mentioning her name. Imbile, and then she mentioned the name Imbile, Imbile, and then that is Imbile means my child, my child, my child, my child. And she would clap over her, rejoicing over her child, joying over her with singing as she must to collect the prize. And she'll come and her mother will be saying, Imbile, Imbile, my, my child, and she'll mention her name. 
That's how God will be rejoicing over you. He'll be clapping over you and say, that's my child. That's what he did to Jesus when he said, this is my beloved son. Yes. This is my child. This is my boy. This is my boy. This is my girl. He's rejoicing over thee with singing. May you go with the presence of the Lord wherever you are. May you not lack his power and his presence in every stage of your life. May the presence of God be with you all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, thank you for your great blessing. Amen. That is coming upon us as we choose your presence over the presence of anybody else. If you will not be there and you cannot be there, then we don't want to be there. And we don't want that thing. And we don't like that thing. If yes, you Lord. will not be there, yes, Jesus. and you cannot be there, my God, thank you. Thank you. That from today, yes, Lord. Every place that we go, you'll be with us. Yes, Jesus. And any room that we go to, yes, Lord. that you cannot be, you cannot be involved. Thank you, Jesus. You cannot be present. Yes, Lord. Then, Lord, we don't want to be at that place. We don't want to any job where you cannot go with us to rejoice over us with singing and to help us to rest in your love so that you joy over us with singing. We don't want that job and we don't want that place. Any experience, Lord, any high thing that your presence does not go with us, we thank you that today we will speak like Moses and say that if you will not go with us we will not go Father thank you thank you for the great increase of your presence and your anointing upon every one who is part of this amazing service flow service from everywhere in the world in Accra and across the nation and across the world Thank you, Thank you for your mighty Lord, presence Lord, Lord, and power. I prophesy Jesus. the Lord thy God in, in the midst of thee Lord. is mighty. Is mighty. He will save. Yes. He will rejoice yes. over thee yes. with, joy. with joy. He will rest, he will rest. in his love. Yes, Lord. He will joy over thee Malakubada. with singing. Yes, Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank, Thank you, Lord. For your presence in our church. Yes, Lord. Now lift your hand and pray that the presence of God will be in the church. And that there will be nothing that will drive away the presence of God from the church from today. Father, we give you thanks. Yes, Lord. And we give you praise. Your presence to For your mighty presence that is released according to Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Save us Lord. Save us, Lord. Deliver us Lord. Deliver us, Lord. Help us Lord. Rejoice over us Lord. Rejoice over us, Lord. Joy over us with singing Lord. Yes Lord. Thank you. Thank for your you. mighty presence. For your mighty presence. As we enjoy your love. Yes, and Lord. we enjoy your goodness. We thank you. Thank and we give you praise. Yes, Lord. Now, concerning our jobs and every activity yes, Lord. from Monday to Friday, lift your hand. This presence must be with you. If thy presence go not with me, yes, I don't Lord. like this job again. Yes, I don't want to be there. If your presence goes not with me in this relationship, into this school, into this place, yes. I don't like that place again. Yes, Lord. For the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Mighty God. Mighty God in your midst. Mighty God. In this relationship, if your presence is no more there, Thank you Thank you for your mighty presence your mighty presence that is with us yes, we receive of your presence we, we covet your presence yes, and we say lord we will not go anywhere 
or be anywhere without your presence, without your presence. fully yes. with us from today. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As we marry, Shana. as we take relationships, Shana. as we move forward, Shana. thank you. If you will not go with us yes. to this marriage, yes. we don't like the marriage again, Lord. Yes, Lord. Only, your presence Only your presence is what we require. For we are grass, and our goodliness is like the flower of the grass. Thank you Thank for this mighty blessing. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And as every head is bowed, if you are here and you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, Savior of the world, lift up your hand, and I'm going to pray with you for the Savior of the world. Yes, the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ, to be with you right now and to save you. Yes. Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. If God is in your midst, everything's going to be okay. He will save you. There'll be salvation. There'll be help. If you want to give your life to God, lift your hand like this now. Lift it up high and say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, Jesus. forgive me, Lord. For my, for my sins. I come to you, come just, to you. As just as I am. Please receive me. Please receive Have mercy on have me. Mercy. I give my heart to you. I give my, heart to you. I give my life to you. I give my life Lord, to you. Jesus. Lord Jesus. Save me Lord. Save me Lord. Change me Lord. Change me. Make me a new person. Make me a new person. I love you Lord. I love you Lord. Thank you Father. Thank you Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Christ. name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for what you have done. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus name. Please write my name. Please write my name. Please write my name. Please write, Please write, my write in the book of life. In the book of life. In Jesus name I pray. Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. If you pray this prayer to give your life to Jesus, if you are lonely, if you need a friend, if you need a pastor, if you need a pastor to talk to, also, you can text us on the number. You can text from any country. Yes. Any country will accept this number. Yes. Just put plus and then start typing the numbers. And you can reach any from anywhere, from even from Australia, you can reach this number from the whole world. It was not so before. Before you have to send an email, before you have to do so many things. Now you just have to send a WhatsApp. Receive this number, write it down. If you need a pastor at any time of the day or night, send a message and we will contact you and pray with you at least. Prayer makes a difference. Yes. And I know your life will never be the same. Amen. Amen. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for such a message we have heard. Yes. The presence of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the presence. The presence of God. Where can I find? Thank God for his presence oh, you, where you are right now. Thank God for his presence. Sense the presence of God in your room right now. A holy presence. The holy presence of God. The holy presence of God. Yes, Lord. The Lord thy God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The holy presence. God Thank God for this message. Thank God for His presence. Yes, Malama. Kondaba da. Right by my side. Oh, Mandu Fele Bene Bene Bene. Such power. Oh, such power. Oh, such power. Such a presence. Sense the presence of God. Sense the presence. The holy presence of God.
get your offering ready get your offering ready father we thank you that everywhere we sense your presence everywhere this morning we sense your presence thank you that your presence is transforming and changing our destinies yes lord as we give our offering this morning yes lord bless our hands yes lord we give this offering in your presence in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus now take your phone send your offering send your offering put the slide on it's time to give our offering send your offering quickly and come back and we'll have our communion this morning as the song keeps playing send your offering Send your offering. Come and be close. Oh, Jesus. You like the wind blowing over my face. When I open my eyes, I want to see you there. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee. He is a mind. God bless you. There's a way to also give internationally. There's a way to also give internationally. Wherever you are watching from outside Ghana. bless you as you have also given your offering in Jesus name amen amen please get your communion elements ready it's time for communion we are going to receive communion and prayers from our pastor this morning so kindly get ready with your communion right now and then I just want to wait for you somebody's reaching out for their communion so I'm just waiting for you, just some few seconds. Reach out for your communion. Pastor, I don't have communion on me. Get water, biscuit, bread. Everything you can lay your hand on, do that. And use them as a point of contact. And don't forget your faith. Add your faith and believe that every prayer that will be said, every declaration, it will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. So it's time for communion now. Thank you, Lord. It's time we're going to receive our holy communion. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus, yes. whom by the Holy Spirit was given to us. Yes, Lord. And this bread we take Jesus. as the body of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Let the holiness of God yes, Lord. penetrate our lives. In the name of Jesus. Let the humility of God yes, Lord. penetrate our lives. Yes, Let the goodness of God Lord. come into us. Yes, 
Let the faith of God, the love of God, the, love of God, the goodness of God, the goodness of God, enter into us yes, as we partake of this amazing body of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Lord. As we lift up the body yes, Jesus. and we say, "Let your holiness yes, Lord. be imparted to every one of us." Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For your blessing. For your blessing. We receive the body of Jesus Christ at this time. Yes. The body of Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus Christ. different from all the cups you've drank from. It's different from all the drinks you've had. This is the cup of blessing. Father, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we receive the blood of Jesus Christ, let our wickedness yes, and our sinfulness yes, Jesus. be washed away. Be washed away. The memory. Yes. The curse. The curse. Of our evil. Yes, Jesus. By this blood. By this blood. Let it be remembered no more. Yes, Lord. Don't let our sins come up. In the name of Jesus. Like how the sea will throw up the rubbish that is in it. Mm. Let our sins not come up. Yes, Lord. As the dustbin that has been thrown into the sea. Yes, Lord. And is coming forth. Yes, Lord. With evil. Yes, Lord. From the depth of the seas. Yes, Lord. Let there be nothing. That will come forth against us. Yes. Because of the blood. 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 When I see the blood. When I see the blood. I will remember no more. Yes. I will pass over you. Yes. I will heal you. Yes. And I'll forgive you. Oh, yes, Lord. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. your hands for your blessing according to the faith of the, those listening Lord yes Lord let them be lifted up in the name of Jesus to divine ideas yes Lord. divine thoughts yes, Lord. divine moments yes Lord. divine ideas bright revelations visions yes. dreams yes, Lord. may we sleep and wake up yes. knowing what to do next yes Jesus by your spirit May there be revelation in the name of Jesus. visions, yes. dreams, and direction. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. There will be no more blindness in the name of Jesus and darkness. Yes, Lord. Over our lives. In the name of Jesus. I command the Am dark cloud that hides goodness mm. from your life. Yes, Lord. To be dispelled. In the name of Jesus. I repel it. And I rebuke it. Yes, Lord. And I say, go back. Yes. To where you came from. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Clarity Lord. comes. Light comes. Amen. Peace comes. Yes, Lord. Answers come. Now I send the spirit of confusion. Should I go left? Should I go right? Should I go left? Should I go right? Lift your hand and receive clarity. Guidance. Yes, Lord. It's delivered into your hand yes, in the name of at Jesus. this time. Yes. Your way is clear. Yes. Your way is clear. Amen. Your way is clear. Amen. Lord. In the name of he who began yes. a good work in you. Yes, Lord. Who laid down in the grave and yes, rose Lord. up after three days triumphantly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I bless you with yes, light. Jesus. Light. Thank you. Light. Now, let there be a wind. Yes, Lord. The wind of the spirit Maladaba. blowing over you. Brasundaba. Cleansing you. Yes, Lord. Giving you fresh air. Yes, Jesus. Receive a freshness. I receive over your stillness. I receive your deadness. I receive your emptiness. I receive and your dryness. I receive. Ah, you shall no more be called a dry tree whose time is past. Yes, you Lord. shall no more be considered withered. In the name of Jesus. But now, freshness. 
from the fresh Holy Spirit comes upon you. Yes, my God. May you enjoy his presence yes, Lord. and walk with him daily. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ah, may he accompany you Rasso, in all that you baby, stay and do. And may people say, yes. the Lord thy God in the midst of thee yes, is mighty. Lord. Yes, he has really saved you. He has rejoiced over you with yes, singing. Yes, he has joyed over you with dancing Shanto and with Pelele. joy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Let this testimony Sanumik. be given to anyone who is part of this service. Yes. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee yes, is truly a mighty God. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, Father, yes, for Lord. being a mighty Savior yes, in our lives. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Amen. 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 God bless you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. God bless you and God bless you again as you were receiving the prayers and the declarations and the prophecies. Prophet said that and all those who are listening and praying with me and I believe that you received your portion in Jesus name. Amen. All too soon, we are gradually coming and have come to the end of this morning's flow church service. Now, I have an exciting news for you. And the exciting news is that this Tuesday, today is Sunday, tomorrow is Monday, after Monday is Tuesday, early yes. morning, 4 a.m., flow prayer meeting resumes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need to see your excitement in the comments. Come on. In the comments you are making, the commentary box. Can you make some noise? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So God bless you so much. We are looking forward to meet you on Tuesday early morning, 4 a.m. GMT with our flow prayer meeting. So set your alarms, get ready, psych yourself up because we are going to meet God early in the morning as we talk with him and commune with him. It's going to be a time of a blessing. In Jesus' name, God bless you once wow. again. So this is where Flow Church Service this morning brings us. I've just seen someone's comment. The person says, please let us enjoy the songs more. Mm. So we are ending on this note and we are going to allow the music to play as we, um, as we, as we flow and then file out. Um, yes. God bless you. May you go with the presence of God today everywhere. This week, everywhere, this week from the, now to the end of this year and next year. The presence of God. God bless you.